This video is powered by YouTube memberships and Patreon. See the link in the description and learn how you can support. <laughs> ah, shut up, you silly tart. Testing. Hello, are we recording here? Vice City was on the eve of a cultural phenomenon. Good evening, Vice City! The city and its fans are gearing up for the music event of the year. The monsters of rock and roll excess. A four-piece rock band sensation. Who are appearing this week in Vice City as part of their world tour. Lock up your daughters. Shoot your sons. Dead! <laughs> The world tour that has been banned throughout the world comes to Vice City. Girls are going crazy. A band with legions of loyal, passionate, and desperate fans. <laughs> I think the singer was looking at me. I'm a huge fan. I go to all your concerts. I get crazy. The band's name? <laughs> Love Fist. Who are performing a concert so crucial to their loyal followers they have waited a long time for their favorite band to come to town. I have 12 Love Fist t-shirts. I wear my Love Fist t-shirt every day, even when I'm with my old lady. Love Fist at the Vice City Arena, brought to you by V-Rock. But this concert is also crucial to the band members themselves. It's not an easy journey being in a famous rock band. Travel, grueling shows, infighting. Shut yeah, up. I've been dragged back and held down and embarrassed by those guys, but you know, it's part of being in a band, man. Managing crippling drug addictions. I've been over to the other side, baby, and man, oh man, it's beautiful. Uncertain record sales. Is that because the new album didn't do so well in the UK? Is that fascist Thatcher? A sing about working class people trying to make it through a tough life. But all these trials pale into insignificance to a menace that threatens the concept it, the city and their very lives. We're all breaking ourselves, man. And there's only one man that can save them, Tommy Vassetti. Hey guys, calm down, I'll handle this. I'm the Patient Wolf, and I'm a video game storyteller. This video is part of a series retelling the tales of Vice City, and those that are yet to be released, you can watch right now as a member or patron. Support the thousands of hours this work takes encapsulating the world of Grand Theft Auto right up to and beyond the release of GTA 6. Hit join now, subscribe if you have not, and if you do, remember to hit like. I'm the Patient Wolf, and this is the story of Love Fist. Tommy, son, have I got a surprise for you? I'm down at recording studios with some major artists. Tommy has no idea about the upcoming concert. He was far too busy with the city's underworld to care. But like everyone else, he has heard of them. They have plastered every radio in the States for years. He liked them. Death metal love ballads that'll have you shoving your fists in the air. With their catalogue of albums. Devil's Own Band. Dogs on Heat. Fat Chicks All Day All Night. With hits such as. Chin Stainer. Liver Buster. And Dangerous Man Dead Family. Zinc Deficiency. Four Boys Against Your Face. Great tracks. What memories. Tommy was oblivious to their presence in the city, but he wasn't oblivious to money and the jobs to get it. Kent Paul had come through before. Why don't you pass a visit? You know it makes sense, don't ya? See you later. Kent and the band are at V-Rock Recording Studios on Hormont Avenue, downtown. Oh, hey! Yes! Brilliant, bloody brilliant! Hey, Tommy! Glad you could make it. Hey, you ever met Love Fist before? No, I haven't, but I've always loved your music. Let me introduce you to the band. This is Per Percy, Dick, and uh, Willie's in a Carsey. And their lead singer is a man Tommy had laid eyes on already. Jez Torrent was on Juan Cortez's party yacht that Tommy attended when he first arrived in Vice. Do you know how they play ping pong? It's silent. It does not involve a paddle. Four male members. You're all love fest, the four Scottish horsemen of the apocalypse. After years on tour, the band have been exposed to many of the trappings of rock nobility. Big hair, the limousines, the girls, the partying, the clubs, the hotel suites. And the alcohol and narcotics. But they have arrived in vice at the wrong time. The drug production and distribution in the city have been heavily disrupted in recent times. 
the underworld hierarchy has also recently changed hands. Tommy is hard at work bringing the business back online, but product has yet to filter through to the streets, and pickings are slim. The band are worried. What takes you up will take you down, man. They are starting to jones and become agitated. We need some drugs, pal! And not just any drugs. For these seasoned abusers, only one in particular will hit the spot and return them to peak performance for their upcoming gig. We need love juice men, gang! Two parts boomshine, one part trumpet, five fizz bombs and a litre of petrol. Can you help us out, pal? Tommy can help with the trumpet that he surmises is cocaine and knows some people for the rest. Looking for something special? I got what you need! But as Tommy is well aware, people don't play it straight in Vice City. Thanks for the money, sucker! This dealer has obviously not got the memo on Tommy's stature in town at present. With the top item in their hierarchy of needs resolved, they look to the next level down. Hey, mate. The guys could do with some company, if you know what I mean. I know just the girl. Tommy didn't know many girls in Vice City. He was far too busy trying to retrieve Sonny Ferrelli's drugs, but he did meet one. A young libertine, who liked to spectate and take part in the city's sex scene. He last saw her while dropping her off at the pole position strip club in Ocean Beach. Mercedes Cortez was Vice City's newest socialite. Rich, hedonistic, and down for whatever. Hey Mercedes. Hiya Tommy, and how are you? You fancy having love fists? Okay, but just as a favor, I expect returned. It crossed his mind that her father, Juan Garcia Cortez, might not take kindly to him prostituting his daughter, but Tommy took Mercedes for someone who does not do anything she doesn't want to. And her father could only look on as his willful daughter does whatever she likes. I see you later, big boy. Later, Tommy returns. Tommy, man, am I glad to see you. What's going on? Bad vibes, Tommy. Whilst retreating from their highs, the band received a disturbing message. A threat. But listen, this guy. Y the guy, he wants love fist dead. The band do not know who it is, but this stalker knows everything about them. Things he couldn't possibly know. Knows that Willie likes his ladies' underwear, eh? What a Percy likes to Shut up, you that fool! Just get jazz bomb yeah. sheep! Tommy doesn't understand or need to know the details. Tommy, you've got to save love We've fist. got a sign in in two hours, and I think... Yeah, and, and the boys think the stalker's going to try some monkey business there. The signing is taking place at Rock City, a music store just down the road. Tommy will take their limo, looking to draw out the stalker. Tommy had never driven a car like this before, and he never will again. This is Love Fist's one-of-a-kind bespoke limousine, a prized possession. He'll be careful. Love Fist! Love I almost Fist! took off my shirt. Love Fist! Love Fist! Love Fist! Love I'll Fist! see Love Fist burn. Love Fist ruined my life. The cross cross dresser flees, still armed in awaiting sentinel. Tommy gives chase. Tommy didn't try to see the logic in what just happened. A disgruntled fan kills a security guard and flees. It doesn't matter anymore. The problem lies dead on a downtown sidewalk. Love Fist can focus on the business of being Love Fist again. Focus on the upcoming gig. Look, Tommy, I forgot to mention, we're going to need some extra muscle for the concert. A bit of security. The band are glad this threat has gone, but know the next is just round the corner. To mitigate more problems, Kent Paul's idea is to use a local biker gang for added protection. It would be great publicity. Very rock and roll, baby. The gang bases themselves at the Greasy Chopper downtown. And their president... I'm looking for Big Mitch Baker. You don't look like the law, so that's bought you a minute. You better talk fast. Mitch Baker, a former Vietnam veteran and serial convict. Ken Paul said you might be interested in pulling security for a gig he's got set up. Ken Paul? No wonder he sent you. The last time he was here, he left through the window in nothing but his limey birthday suit. Are you interested or not? We only do favors for our own. Mitch Baker's biker gang don't work for just anyone. They need ultimate respect and trust in place before they do. The gang would never trust someone like Kent Paul. 
he doesn't have what it takes to be sworn in, Tommy might. This here's the biggest family of misfits, outcasts, and badasses. He'd fit right in. Can you handle a bike? Can you sit on a stool and drink? Tommy is no stranger to races. He's raced to earn respect on a number of occasions, to show his cojones to Umberto Rabina, and to persuade Hillary King to work for him. But he's never yet raced on a bike. And these angels corner like tankers. Despite the learning curve, he completes the course and impresses enough to be given two more tasks. On completion, he would earn their colours and their trust enough to work Love Fist's gig. The race was a test of skill. The next is a test of allegiance. To be a biker, you need a healthy disdain of authority. Tommy next needs to rack up a repair bill for the city to really stick it to the man. So get out there, grab a bike, and show this city how pissed you are. With mayhem made, Mitch has one more task. The local street gang made the mistake of stealing my hog. You get my bike back, you can tell Paul he's got his security. The street wannabes, as Tommy knows, are not a big gang. Extremely ambitious and none too bright. They worked against the then biggest cocaine baron in the city. But Ricardo Diaz sent his best man to show them a lesson. And here, Mitch Baker does the same. To take back his bike and put them in their place. Tommy prefers the PCJ600 to the Angel and uses its speed and agility to enter the compound, cut down the gap, reclaim Mitch's bike and escape the pursuing wannabes. Stolen property returned with only a bit of bodywork required. You did good, Tommy. Good to have the old girl back. You tell Kent Paul, he'll get his security for the gig. You have my word on that. But this news has not soothed the band's nerves. Tommy, man, that say goes back. How can that be? He left him in his own blood not days ago. Oh. You didn't kill him, man, and now he's back. Yeah. Thing is, we need someone to drive the limo we can trust, because that nutter keeps making threats. The band are due to leave for their final sound check before the performance. Everything is in place, but they only trust Tommy to drive them there. The cloud of the cross-dressing psycho still looms large. Normally I wouldn't busy myself with driving around a bunch of drunken Scottish bisexuals, but in your case, I'll make an exception. The venue is only moments away, but time enough for the stereo. Hey Tommy, change the tunes, man. Take the tape on. It's not what they expect. No fist. Your time polluting the airwaves is over. I gave you the chance to be friends, but well, no one gave you the chance to die. You try and slow down, your limousine will explode along with big airy asses. It's unclear how the psycho managed to rig such a bomb. If he did so alone, before his demise, or had help. But the limo is rigged to blow if the car's speed drops. Why have to blow? Just keep the pedal to the metal. Tommy can't help with defusing. That's up to the band. He only has to drive. Hey, the vodka bottle's got wires coming out here. That's no vodka, that's boomshine. Tommy uses his earned knowledge of the city to navigate the longest and straightest roads. You can't pull out one of the wires. Which wire? I should have dumped you a lot when I had the chance, man. Shut it and pull a wire. Man, we're okay. We ain't been blown up. Rock and roll, man. The psycho subverted. The show will go on. Oh, fast! Oh, fast! Oh, fast! The stage is set for the night Vice City has been waiting for. Love Fist are ready, and Tommy will forever be a friend of the band. And he can use their limousine anytime. Love Fist are a complicated group, barely held together by their history and love juice. Their future promises to be rocky, fractured and uncertain. But for tonight, they will enjoy what they really love about being rock royalty. Tommy was offered backstage passes to the show, but he wouldn't see them perform. He was far too busy becoming royalty himself. King of Vice City.
Watch that story and many others in the links down below. And if you would like to support this work and watch every video weeks in advance, hit join or become a patron. Click the link at the top of the description and see every exclusive video you can be watching right now. If not, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell to be informed of their release. Remember to hit like and thank you to everyone on the screen now who support this work. I'm the Patient Wolf and this has been the story of Love Fist. Love Fist.